Hi, I am Anne, your virtual success advocate from Zaptist. Zaptist is a leading free and enterprise software test automation and RPA tool. To use the Zaptist free edition, check out our website, zaptist.com. Integration testing is carried out after unit testing. The precise methodology for conducting integration testing depends on whether you choose to use the incremental testing or big bang testing type and what approach you take to your integration testing. 1. The relevant steps in any integration test are Prepare an integration test plan Decide what approach you're going to take to testing Design test cases, test scenarios, and test scripts Deploy chosen modules together and run your tests Track identified bugs and record test results Fix bugs and implement changes Repeat the steps above until your tests are complete 2. Create an integration test plan the first stage of running integration tests is always creating a thorough integration test plan. An integration test plan contains test cases, scenarios, and environment details, and lays out how the integration testing will be carried out. A test plan is clear, detailed, and easy to follow, effectively detailing all aspects of an integration test for all involved parties and stakeholders. Purpose and Scope The test plan lays out the purpose and scope of your integration test, outlining which software components you are testing and what you're testing them for. Most integration testing projects will have relatively short sectioning outlining purpose and scope, but these are still useful as reference tools for staff members involved in the testing process. Integration Test Plan The test plan section of your document outlines what you are testing and how. This part of your test plan should detail the modules you are testing and which features specifically you plan to test. It also outlines the order of integration testing if you're using an incremental testing approach. The test plan might also outline test deliverables that are necessary before, during, and after integration testing takes place. This section also outlines the tasks necessary for testing and any specific environmental needs that need to be considered during the test process. Integration Test Case Specifications test case specifications lay out all of the individual tests between modules and outline the input specification, output specification, and environmental needs for each test. This section of the integration test plan should be clear, concise, and unambiguous, making it easy for staff members to follow set test cases with little decision-making involved. Integration Test Procedures the test procedures section of the test plan outlines all of the procedures you will use in your integration test, as well as the purpose of each procedure and the steps involved. Alongside the test case specifications and test plan, this section should help stakeholders and testers to understand exactly how each integration test is to be conducted. Integration test results. Leave space at the end of a test plan to record test results once integration testing is complete. For each test case outlined earlier, include the date on which the test took place and details of the test results as per the objectives of each outlined test. If by now you have any inquiries or are considering learning more about Zaptist, drop a message on the website at the red widget and we would be pleased to help you along the way. Make sure to comment and share this video with your peers and colleagues. By seeing your interest we'd be making more videos like this, making hard topics easily digestible. Thank you for watching. Make sure to watch our other videos linked in the description.